Michael Gallo gets them to that party from Miller Lite. One of the first things children in Eastern North Carolina learn to say. But on a beautiful spring weekend at the home of East Carolina University's Pirates, a lot of people were saying, Go Pirates! The celebration was a gala affair of purple and gold trimmed activities for the entire family, with a two day mirage of carnival style fun to pull together the excitement and pageantry of college football even in the springtime. The entire region joined hands to get ready for 1984. The community is truly made aware of why people are already flipping over the Pirates attack that officially kicks off September 1. And now, if you will, join the Purple and Gold faithful, some 5,000 strong and Miller Lite, as we stroll through two days of the great Pirate Purple Gold Pigskin Pig Out Party. Go Pirates! After a long night of cooking pig, these men still had their pirate spirit. They didn't realize it then, but later in the day, they would win the top prize in the pig cooking contest. Pig cooking is serious business in Eastern North Carolina, an all night affair. And when it's cooked, it's better known as a pig picking. After they were judged and collected in the morning, the task of preparing pigs began. 25 pigs were consumed in six hours being sold by the plate. A similar scene occurs during the regular season with the Ain't It Great to Tailgate Party. The carnival atmosphere continued throughout Saturday with Miller Lite All-Star L.C. Greenwood signing many autographs. And head coach Ed Emery also greeted future Pirate prospects. But it was the tug of war between the Pirate football team and old Bessie that was the big treat. Gentle Bessie agreed to let linebacker P.J. Jordan try to ride. But quickly, P.J. is off of old Bessie. However, head coach Ed Emery rides with confidence. Popular Miller Lite can crushing contest also came to East Carolina with L.C. Greenwood. kitties in the crowd, it was an afternoon filled with all types of contests to win prizes.
Watch these young ladies. Yes, even a bikini contest. And getting judges for the day was no problem. Then it's time for front and center for the Pirate football team as the annual Purple Gold Clash occurs in Ficklin Stadium. And it was just like a usual game day. Even the radio network was on the air throughout Eastern North Carolina. Lost one up high, and he's got Amos Adams at the 30, 25. He'll take it all the way to score. Amos Adams with the big punt for the purple, and we've got a tie football game. Coach Ed Emery and wife Nancy enjoyed an unusual press box seat for the day. And this spring game was complete with halftime entertainment. Purple and gold was prominent throughout the day, and the best dressed contest winners were recognized at halftime. And halftime climaxed a two month contest in area elementary schools to secure an official name for the new ECU Pirate mascot. The contest reaped tremendous reactions from students and teachers alike. And what about the name for the new pirate? Powerful Petey. And perhaps fitting for the day, Coach Ed Emery celebrated his 46th birthday at halftime. It was not your ordinary spring football weekend. Instead, it was color, excitement, and an experience of optimism for Pirate football in 1984. It was the great Pirate Purple Gold Pigskin Pigout Party. It was an extravaganza that has everyone flipping over the Pirates' attack for 1984.